Yeah. Hello, Bathurst. Yeah. Words cannot express how happy I am to bring wrestling to this town. The town where I'm at school, well, technically Orange, but you know, it's all close enough. It's all Central West. <laughs> place where I played rugby against Danny's, place where I had my first job, my first kiss, my first fight, my first everything. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that because I'm in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> but take my uh, silence to, you know, mean what it means. Uh, and I'm very excited to have my first win in my new tag team with a man from Oberon, yeah. CJ Young. Yeah. And tonight we've got some hard people to fight, some rough people to fight, some people all the way up from Victoria, the blood fighters. And CJ's going to tell you what we're going to do to them. We are going to give them a big old potato to the head. We're going to punch them, we're just going to beat them up with them. We're going to throw them around, we're going to slam them around, we're going to fucking... Oh, sorry. I got carried away and there goes my pain. But in all seriousness, it's really good to be performing here in Bathurst. This is my first time ever. I live here, well, I live in Oberon. As you said, same old, same old. Please meet with just uh, two cool little words that I've already said when you're time three. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> what do you say? Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Hellering here for Rust Strong Gojo. A word from the central table ends to begin this match, but our opening contest will see James Long taking on Zachariah the Messiah. We're up here live in Bathurst. James Long opening his mouth and it's going to cost him right from the very beginning. What a boot to the back of James Long. Couldn't happen to a better person. Former MMA fighter James Long taking on the relative newcomer here at Restaurant Gojo, Zachariah the Messiah. Oh, and another kick there. Will you stop kicking me? Will you stop kicking me? Proceeds with another kick, just like the Messiah, with a clothesline. Smart move by James Long, rolling to the outside, gets a mare, gets some distance from Zachariah. Zachariah putting his hands up, taking a page out of the general manager, Jack Hellering's book there, saying, hey, I wasn't doing anything wrong. But these two locked up now in the turnbuckle. Oh, is that going to take that slap? James slowly frustrating Zachariah and using that to his advantage. Zachariah proving that if that if James can do the roles, so can he. Looking for a sharpshooter early on in this matchup. Zachariah having two to five there to break the hold, otherwise he would be disqualified. The Bathurst fans on the side of the Messiah, Zachariah. Calling an elbow tie up here into a waist lock versus Zachariah into a wrist lock. Oh, over the top. Oh, 
showboating to the crowd unfortunately does not work out well Zachariah you should take a page out of James Bond's book there realize that that's not going to work for you oh target fan kick I looked a bit low to me and a kick to the head oh and a cutter off the top rope oh, with the top rope I should say But a two count there. What an excellent combination of moves from James Long there. James Long's not somebody you want to take lightly. He's got that fight experience. He knows what he's all about. James Bradman for a suplex there by the looks of it. Smart move by Zach. Getting to the ropes there. Feeding off the fence chance here. Almost on the from a referee. Missed that by James there. And a running, running knee to the back of the neck. Could have been over if he'd been able to keep in the ring. But James running on the outside. Cockiness of James Long there, what a DDT. Not many people can make the make the transition from MMA over to professional wrestling. James Long has certainly shown he's certainly capable of that. Oh, a maneuver that James calls teabag time. That's uh, a Bronco Buster to Zachariah. Zachariah might be bringing up his lunch after that. Zach's able to quick recovery on this one. Oh, and Impaler DDT right there. I believe James Long actually had his hand on the rope then, which referee did miss, but he did manage to get a kick out nonetheless. Zachariah once again getting those fans on his side. James Long taking a nice rest break on the outside. Oh, into a spear by James Long. Over the top by James Long. Oh, nice slam by James Long there. Member of the Fight Club, this is James Long. Ben's now taunting James Long. A right hand by Zachariah to James. Not something you probably want to want to start there. A nice bridging suplex there. Oh, only a two count on that bridging suplex pin combination right there. Getting James up onto the top row. James is in a really good space there. Oh, the disrespect there by James Long. Just slap him right in the face. And then run away. It's a clever game there. Oh, what a middle row DDT. Zach's managed to get up on this one. Oh. oh, what a cutter from James Long. Ref, look, his legs are on the middle rope. Ref. Well, I guess if the referee doesn't see it, did it really happen at all?
James Long walking away with the win here. Now we have the fighters hot on the line in our semi main event tonight. Tony Sin defends his fighters championship against the two rookies, Ranger and Sahara. Ranger and Sahara both have made a name for themselves for Wrestle Strong Dojo in 2024. Two regulars at the dojo learning their craft and training on a weekly basis. Smart move by Tony Sin being on the outside in this one. Keeping an eye on these two, let them work on each other. Get each other tied, then you can slide on in and pick the bones. Oh, nice drop kick by Sahara. But she's gonna be feeling that. Sahara off the top. Oh, Sahara off the ropes, I was gonna say, but Tony Sin just pulling around the outside. Kick to the stomach there. Tony Sin, former former tag team champion here, Restaurant Gojo. Actually, oh, Tony Sin actually won the tag team titles up at Bathurst previously. Ranger with a lovely dive to the outside previously, trying to get Sahara in. Oh, close on. Ranger's head going off of the ring post there. The Bathurst fans telling Tony Sin they think that he is just a golf ball. Looking at that head, it's very hard to disagree with them, I'll tell you what. We'll see if Sahara can turn the tables in this one. Oh, kick to the back. Oh, a forearm to the face of Sahara. Now just mocking the fans there. Referee very slow on the count there. Tony Sin with some very justifiable uh, response towards the referee in this contest. The referee should have been there one, two, not just one, two. After taking a few seconds to get there, Tony Sin could have just retained that fighter's title there. Tony Sin with an Irish whip. Oh, backbreaker to Sahara. count there we love this chant we certainly do Tony Sin not so much oh the back of Sahara is going to be feeling this one later on And in eliminating Ranger on the outside, turning this one into a one on one matchup. Tony Sin has to be careful there that he doesn't put his hands on a WSD official. Good face sanctions, a fine, even a suspension if he did. What a forearm to the face of Sahara yet again. Irish swoop off the ropes. Oh, Sahara and Rana there. Now this is definitely not the first time these three have met in in-ring competition. Sahara and Tony Sin met in the finals for the fighter's title. Oh, Ranger there getting involved in this one. Might have just cost Sahara the opportunity to take out Tony Sin there. He's had time to recover on the outside. Rangers had his issues with Tony Sin as well. 
originally scheduled to face each other in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Fortunately, due to illness, Ranger was not able to compete. However, when Ranger was able to show up, Tony Sin attacked him after his match. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, oh, and that's ten right there. Oh, I thought we we're gonna have a new fighters champion there for a moment. Ranger at home on the top rope. Two superstars of our junior heavyweight division right here, Sahara and Ranger. Displaying their talents here. Tony Sin having to get in there and break that up. Fearing that he's going to be dealing with somebody trying to take his championship. The golf ball can't have that. You have to think that these fans chance getting in the head of Tony Sin right now, is it affecting him mentally? He's certainly not trying to show it. Brain just struggling to get up. Oh, head off that top turnbuckle. Referee doing a good job to get out of the way there. Reversal by Ranger. We've seen Ranger do this before. Oh, Tornado DDT by Ranger. Oh, I thought we were going to see a bit of teamwork there. Teamwork makes the dream work. Not in this case, it would seem. Only a two count, we'll go for a pin on Tony Sin. Sahara only got a two count there as well. She has to think what does she have to do to put this one away. Trying to pin both of them at the same time. It's just not working out for Sahara at the moment. Going for a submission hold now. Very reminiscent of AJ Lee and the Black Widow. Oh, Ranger getting in there. Playing a sleeper. Oh, Tony Sin. Taking out both individuals right there. Fans telling us what they really think of Tony Sin in this contest. Oh, the neck of Ranger off the top rope then. It looked like Tony Sin was going for that razor's edge. Oops, oh, arrow with the reversal. Oh. Sahara was going for that Widow's Peak there. Looks like Ranger was going for a Canadian Destroyer. Not sure why they wouldn't just let the other hit their finish. Then throw them out. Then get the pin for themselves. But hey. They know what they're doing in this contest. They know better than what you and I know. Ladies and gentlemen. Slam. Oh, zigzag by Ranger. 
drop kick by Sahara. Oh, by the hair. Widow's Peak. Can Sahara get the three count here? No, nope. Ranger pushing Sahara off. All three individuals in this one are exhausted. They're tied. But the fighter's title's on the line, and only one of them can walk away as the fighter's champion. Who will it be? European uppercut to Sahara. With a reversal, Ranger ducks it. Springboard stunner. Or Tony Sin now in position to be able to break that pinfall up. Sahara on the outside now. Ranger going for one more. Oh, oh. no disqualification in this match. That's a low blow. Oh, and that will do it. A low blow. Any day of the week will get a three count, you'd think. Three way rules means no disqualification. Walking out with his championship. Tony Sin has retained. The man of sin, Tony Sin. Still, Wrestle Strong Dojo. Fighters champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be moving into another matchup as we progress towards our main event. Our main event of the evening will see a number one contender crowned for the heavyweight championship. It's former champion Joey Fox taking on a legend, the Pantherine, Dean Draven. In the last few months, Joey Fox has had a bit of a change in attitude. Ever since he lost the heavyweight title in a three-way match against Aragon and Alistair Fleming. Joey Fox held the heavyweight championship for about 392 days. You can definitely understand the frustration on his part there. Ironically, these two in these two in this match together. It was Dean Draven with whom Joey Fox defeated to win the heavyweight championship all the way back in 2023. These two have met several times over the years. Traded wins back and forth. This one is definitely anyone's match. Draven with the chop right there. Oh, this main event. This main event up here at Bathurst Panthers. Winner will become the number one contender to Aragon's heavyweight championship. They'll earn themselves that title shot. This match is definitely personal. They know each other so well, having trained together and fought together fought against each other traveled to Japan together back in 2023 and here we are it's Joey Fox and Dean Draven in our main event suplex by Draven fans with a chant of Draven's gonna kill you it wouldn't be the first time I've seen that and I'm sure it won't be the last time either. Joey Fox with the right idea. He's gone out to the outside. Get some air. Roll back in. Stay away from Dean Draven. Keep some distance. That's certainly one way to do it. Oh, 
the 28 year veteran in Dean Draven taking on Joey Fox he's been pro since about 2021 both men feeling that their referee doing the right thing here jumping out to check on both of them Nice forearm by Joey Fox, the Dean Draven. Oh, head off the ring post. Joey getting a few boos from this Bathurst crowd. Oh, he uses his shirt to choke Dean out. Referee showing a lot of discretion there, giving to a five count. Having the shirt thrown at him. You're in a European uppercut there by Joey Fox. Oh, Dean now with the... Oh, I was going to say Dean. That ring awareness there on the outside. But I'll tell you what, his hand has just felt that. That could break your hand to the force that Dean will chop you with. Oh, Joey Fox telling us that's how you do it. Oh, the chops from Joey Fox to Dean Draven. Joey hurling insults and abuse towards the audience. Telling the fans they don't deserve to see another one. Only a one count there by Dean Draven. Dean's hand definitely feeling that after chopping that ring post. Not something that it's ideal. Knees to the arm there by Joey Fox. Joey's found a target and he's going for it here. Joey Fox looking at the referee. He's there to say, look, I've got to five. I will do what I want. Even this one to be the case there. Who's hungrier for this championship opportunity more? Someone who held the heavyweight title for 392 days, or somebody who hasn't held, hasn't held it in over 192 days? What a close line by Joey Fox there. Refs in a great spot. To call a one count there. What a disgusting act by Joey Fox there. Can't believe that he has done this. Turned his back on the WSD fans. Suplex by Joey Fox to Dean Draven now. Joey Fox with about three years experience as, as a professional. Trained right here, Russell Strong Dojo by Amy Action and Dean Draven. Oh, he has targeting that arm of Dean Draven, that hand of Draven. That takes out the chops of Draven. It also impacts how he's able to lock in that cross face. Amazing strategy there by Joey Fox to go through and do that. Going for that Boston Crab there. Whether or not Joey Fox is going to be able to put him away straight away, he probably doesn't know, but he does know that applying that pressure to the lower back this early in the match, definitely going to have an impact. But Dean's able to get to the ropes there. Joey surprisingly let go straight away. Let's go, 
Oh, Joey sucks. Chance I didn't think that we would ever hear. That rest is strong. Demon to the turnbuckle. Joey Fox going over the top. Oh, elbow to Dean. Exchanging of those elbows. Dean off the ropes. Oh. Oh, that's the hardest part of the ring right there. Is that ring apron? Thought we were going to see Dean with a shoulder tackle there. Knocking Joey into the eighth row. We're sold out up here at Bathurst Panthers. The fans are here to see this amazing contest. His forearm strikes back and forth. Oh, DDT. Oh, it could be over for both men here. The referee's doing a good job to go through and check on both competitors after that spill for the outside. Referee's in a great spot there. He's checking on them, making sure that they can continue. Making sure that this match will carry on. We need a winner of this match. We need a number one contender. It will, will it be Dean Draven? Will it be Joey Fox? Dean Draven getting himself fired up in this one. The sold out Bathurst crowd is on fire. They are electric and they are ready for this matchup. Look at him go. Chops to one another. They say, oh, they say impersonation is the most sincere form of flatterism. With the chops that Joey Fox has adopted over the years. Oh, another super kick there. Off the ropes and a clothesline by Draven. Dino versus super kick. Oh, fireman's carry by Joey. Oh, we've seen Joey Fox play many of many a superstars away with that one. Oh, the Death Valley driver was not enough in this case here. Only gets him a two count. Joe Fox offering up a flying fox. The frog slash. Surprising with this new attitude change that he'd even offered to do that. Or oh, Dean in the right place at the right time there to reverse that and stop the momentum from Joey Fox. Going to be a suplex from the top rope. Oh, a suplex from the middle rope where Dean is at. Joey on the top. Both men down. Count of four here by the referee. Only a two count there by Draven. The fans are clearly on the side of Dean Draven and they want this one finished. Sooner rather than later. Draven sending Joey into the Oh, into the turnbuckle. DDT. What a DDT by Dean Draven. I'll tell you what, nobody does it better. Joey's trying to get up here now.
both men working their way to their feet. Dragon's first run up. Dean telling him how he really feels. Oh, had agreed by Joey Fox. Taking a page out of the Dean Draven book right there. As Dean usually goes towards the killing zone. Oh, uh, just a two count there. You're going to have to do more than that to put him away, Joey Fox. going through the mind of Joey Fox in this one. Joey got, oh, I thought Joey was going for a stomp then, but he's just went for that for that knee to the head then. Oh, driving with the reversal. These two, as I say, know each other quite well. Dean reversing that, that death rally that Death Valley driver attempt into a suplex. Oh, would never want to be that person. Oh, Joey with the turnabout. That's the other turn of the table. Oh, Dean. Reversing it. And we were a cross face, we've got the cross faces locked in, even with the damage arm. The center of the ring, nowhere to go. And Joey Fox has tapped out. Only the only the second tap out he's performed in the last 12 months. Here we have our new number one contender. It's Sting Draven. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this contest by submission. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on my way to the ring with the microphone to have a word with Dean Draven. Dean's got a message for the audience, for the fans, for you, the wrestlers from Gojo community.